Hey everybody, it's Derek and welcome back to CRM Tip of the Day's Video Tips, your source for tips and step-by-step -step instruction on the latest version of Microsoft Dynamics CRM. So last week we started with part one of our USD demo, basically showing you how to open up the application and navigate through some of the different hosted controls and items that are out there. Today we're going to go ahead and continue our client demonstration, primarily talking about Windows navigation rules, talking about session lines, agent scripts, and then just some other baseline functionality just to keep in mind as you're moving forward with the application. So if you remember in our last video, we focused on sessions and the tabs that are associated with the sessions and the, and the toolbars. And we talked about how if you click on a specific item, like in this case on the toolbar, if I click on associated cases, that's going to open this up in a new tab. Now, the one thing to remember is, you know, obviously that tab is within this session, but that isn't necessarily the only functionality that you have. One of the things that USD provides you with the ability to do is to define what are called Windows navigation rules. And so a Windows navigation rule is ultimately going to dictate where this information loads when you click on it within the application. And so when we go to search and we load a, a hosted control, we are loading that within a new session. When we click on specific items, we are loading those within a new tab. But ultimately, when I'm looking at this functionality within USD, I'm just looking at CRM functionality. So, for example, if I click on this primary contact for a datum, um, Renee Val Valdez, and I click on this, this is going to open her contact information up right in line with what I'm currently working at, just like if I were to open it within Microsoft Dynamics CRM. And so one of the things that I actually have the capabilities to do, and we'll show you this in the configuration video, is to actually go through and define what happens when people click on these different situations. And so when somebody clicks on a contact or clicks on a link in a specific window, instead of actually having it load in line like it would from a baseline CRM functionality, I would have the capabilities to dictate, do I want that to open up in a new tab? And so do I want that to show up in a different tab with a different name so I can switch between those informations while I'm still in the same session? Do I want that to open up in a brand new session? So do I want it to open up as an independent session so that any information that I have working with that moving forward Forward, it's going to display within that session. And you also have the capabilities, if you notice that we don't have the CRM navigation on this particular screen, I have the capabilities within this as well to dictate if I want to just show, you know, without the command bar, with the command bar, without the navigation, with, with sitemap navigation, I have the capabilities to really control how this window loads from a CRM perspective as well. So, you know, last time we showed you how to switch between things, that's not necessarily just default behavior. That's behavior that from a configuration standpoint, we will define as part of the application when we're working through it. Another thing that you can define as part of the application is what are called session overview lines and session or session overviews. And so if I look over here on the side, I have this area that I can expand called, you know, it's called the left panel, but it's, it's a basically a expandable collapsible panel that again, from a configuration standpoint, I have the capabilities to define how I want items to be displayed in here. But one of the things that I have the ability to control are what are called session overview lines. And these session overview lines display in the context of the record that you're currently working with. And so right now I'm working with a datum corporation and I'm working with a datum corporation in their own session. If I switch to AdventureWorks session, now my session overview line actually changes to display the contextual information for the record that is currently actively loaded into the application itself. And so these are very nice because now we can start actually building out, they call it kind of a 360 degree view of the customer, but now we can start building out kind of some, some generalized controls that might be available regardless of what you're doing within a specific session for a specific item. So in here I can see that I have their email address, I can see that I have their phone number, I would actually have the capabilities through these session overview lines if I wanted to, to actually make this button clickable. So I could click on the email button and send an email out to this particular person. Or I could click on the phone call button and I could basically launch the uh, situation where I could dial the number and, and facilitate having a phone call be created within the application. 
Now these session overview lines are nice because they can be just straight text and they can say, okay, this is what we want to use. They can actually be um, XML or XAML files that we can use to actually feed parameters in from Microsoft Dynamics CRM in the context of the record that you're currently working with. And by making them, you know, HTML, XAML type files, now I also have the capabilities to make these a little bit more dynamic. So I can actually have tabs within them. And now here I have a social tab that was created that I could use to, you know, open up a um, a, their Twitter account or access their Facebook page. But it now gives me a little bit more detailed information that I can now interact with. And you have complete control over what information is displayed in here and also what information is displayed in here based upon what you're doing. And so you could have session overview lines that specifically show up in certain cases or certain aspects of the application if you wanted to when you were working with it. And so agent scripting is a is a big piece of what they do or giving you the capabilities to do from a USD perspective. And you'll notice that when I look at this agent script, it says, thank you for contacting Woodgrove Bank. My name is Derek. How can I help you today? This is using basically context information or, or session information based upon who I am. So it's, it's loading in the most recent information based upon who I am to define what displays within this. And so this could actually be information about the user. So You could have a personalized greeting for the person coming in. You could keep track of information in regards to, you know, screen pops, who's calling some of those types of different situations when you're working through. But the nice thing with these call scripts is you can define different scripts that agents might use in different situations and so when you click on one of these each one of these will have a script with a response and as you click on a response from an agent perspective it will now bring you to another aspect of the application or to another aspect of what it is that you're trying to do and you could actually define actions for what to do so if you need to create a case or you need to open a specific item or you need to interact with something from an application perspective I would have the capabilities to when I click on these, not necessarily just bring me to another part of the script, but I could physically have it bring me to another action or do something else within the context of the application. And so it just provides you from a scripting standpoint, much, much more flexibility. Now, this is just a very quick overview in regards to some of the baseline functionality that this provides you. From a USD perspective, if I wanted to, you know, connect this with a you know, computer-based telephony phone system, I could do that to facilitate screen pops. So, so a call comes in, it gets transferred to an agent, a screen pops up on the screen, it displays information about who the person is that's calling in and maybe even opens up information from CRM. So you have a lot of capabilities to expand some of this information, even if I wanted to maybe display a you know third-party website that maybe had a form that we could fill out, I could pre-populate some of that information based upon information coming from a record within CRM just by having that display in another tab within that same session. And so this really just provides you with you know the, the baseline functionality to get an idea of what's possible. We'll then go ahead and like I said in the next video, just show you some basic configuration and basic terminologies. Again, just to kind of broaden that horizons on, on what's out there. So I hope you enjoyed our two-part demo on using Unified Service Desk. Um, stay tuned for future videos where we explore a little bit more details into the configuration. But as always, for all of us at CRM Tip of the Day, thanks for watching and I hope you have a good one.